Much of the rest of the world has reverted to minimum tillage and high disturbance no tillage. Reliable low disturbance no tillage has been too difficult to achieve. But both of these halfway practices disturb the soil and crop residues too much to be considered true no tillage. The whole purpose of no tillage is to keep residues on the surface. Not only are they capable of virtually guaranteeing germination when cross lot openers are used, they are also nature's way of preventing soil erosion. We have neighbors that are conventional farming around here, and I'm not begrudging anybody that however they have to farm. But it's really interesting to watch uh, the soil and water wash out of their fields and wash into ours about 20 feet. 14 years ago, John Baker and his team took the cross lot technology out of the university and then began marketing it commercially, both to farmers and contractors worldwide. Realistically, horizontal slots can only be created with tines or shanks that have horizontal wings. The problem was how to get a tined opener to handle residues without blocking. Most other designers reverted to super wide rows to avoid the problem, but we wanted to be able to continue to drill in narrow rows because if anything, plant populations can be increased under no tillage because of the improved moisture status of the soil. We were not prepared to make biological compromises to solve engineering problems no matter how complicated they were. So, we created an entirely new operating system, which is still the cornerstone of our patented cross slot opener today. We split the tine down the centre, allowing us the space to insert a disc where our blades contact either side of the flat disc surface. This gave us the ability to handle very heavy residue levels while retaining the horizontal slot. Most importantly, this action leaves more than 90% of the residue undisturbed, even at high forward speeds. Although cross slot openers handle large amounts of surface residues, they do not have the same problems with hair pinning or tucking of residues into the slot that other openers have. This is because cross slot openers place the seeds to one side of any hairpins that are formed rather than in them, nor is there any compaction or sidewall smearing with cross slot openers. During the last five seasons we've been surveying the countryside in the Palouse region of eastern Washington and northern Idaho to determine what crops are being planted, how much crop residue is left after planting, and how much erosion is occurring in farmers' fields. And we have found during those seasons that there is one system that consistently has over 70 to 80% crop residue on the soil surface, and that is the cross-slot no-till system.